Hello and good afternoon, good morning, whichever time you are watching this. I said, we're back finally. Yes, yes. We're having a bit of a pajama party. This yep. is Friday, uh, April 19th. It is Good Friday. Um, and this is episode 60 of Three Sisters Knit. Yeah. I am Sheila, and you can find me on Ravelry as Shishi62. And I'm Margaret, and you can find me on Ravelry as Magpie60. Um, and you can find us on Instagram as three, at Three Sisters Knit. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, we we're just like piling up our things I to know. talk about because it's been so, so long. long. We didn't get to do it a couple weeks ago. It just, just didn't, didn't work. work Timing out. just didn't work out for us to actually record the pot. So we're doing it now. So yeah. it's like yay. Because well, I figure it's been almost two months since we've recorded yes. anything. Yes. Because it was the middle of February when we did it yep. last, mm -hmm. and then we were in Florida, Florida for, for the a month. entire month of March. Yes, um, mm -hmm. and then just since we got back, it's just it's we, been this crazy. Is the first time we've been able to sit down and just be organized with yes. everything. Yes. So we actually have quite a few things yes. to talk about. Yes, and it's really yes. neat because. I feel yes. happy because I get to talk about a few things this time, too. Yes, <laughs> and so what we're going to do is, yes, we do. We have so much to talk about. We're still going to try to keep it fairly short. Yes. So we don't want it to be too, too long. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to let Margaret talk about... Yes. Um, yeah, I'm let's, let's do, do FOs. Do, let's do let's FOs. Let's do FOs. FOs. We have We've got a lot, lot to do. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to start with some socks. Um, I actually have finished, I know I showed one sock, but I have finished my uh, Obliviate socks. Yay! So I'm really happy about that. So this Shoot. is the one that I used the um, Andre Sue Knits uh, sock blank. And I think it was called like Rainy Day or something. And yeah. I had a little girl printed on it. Anyway, uh, I just thought it was a really oh, neat combination. It's, and so she I'm, finished them on the way in the car on the way yeah. down to Florida. She and was so was, happy. I, I had finished one sock and I was uh, I just Stuck. had to turn the heel on the second yeah. sock and then finish to the toe. So I did that um, on the way down. On the and way down. When Two we, and a half days in a car, car. will help you get finish yes. almost anything. <laughs> so I've got that and here's here's the other one. Um, so she so does you have can kind of see. Um, the cool thing about this is, it's just in case you're not familiar, it's got the Hermione's Everyday um, pattern on the front yes. of the sock, but then it's got this beautiful kind of cable yes. at the back, so you can, yeah, there you go, so you can yeah. kind of see this gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. um, cabling. Yes. And I, I love that combination where you've got something different and an interesting yes. pattern on yes. the back of the leg. So it's pretty. just so pretty. I'd be happy doing a vanilla sock and just doing that down the back. Yeah. That would be really, really nice. I think really that would nice. be really nice because Good. it's I kind just of fun just that. having that mm -hmm. point of interest on the back. So yeah. one pair of socks. Yes. That was finished on the way down. Mm -hmm. And then I was so excited I got started on a second pair of socks. Um, this is the Impossible Girl sock. That's the pattern. That's the pattern. And again, it's the same on the other side. It's basically it's a vanilla sock, except for this little mock cable, because it's not an, a real cable stitch. Yes. But, um, and I'm using, this was, um, I forget what it was called, but Amanda uh, Yarn Enabler. Isn't it's it her... her Hurricane? Hurricane or tornado? Or tornado, I think it's something tornado, like that. Yeah. It was called. Anyway, I just I loved it because I loved how the color the faded, gradient. and it just faded so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Now I think I may have done a different toe than what was in the pattern because I think we were talking yes. about doing, or maybe it was the heel. Anyway, yeah, I think I did a I little was the toe. slight variation on mm -hmm. it, and it was it was, but it was such a simple fun. Like car knitting, yes. and just fill it. We would go down well, to the pool and we would just sit knit. and knit. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would go in the pool every now and then, and then when mm -hmm. I felt like it, I would do a little bit of knitting. Yeah. yeah. So, again, I've got, and here's the second one just to prove I actually finished a pair of socks. Yes. It's like, woohoo! Yeah, you can see the pattern on the sock there. Yeah, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And she's got enough yarn and left over that she can probably do a, uh, a, a, a little pair, pair of shorty socks. Little shorty socks to finish to off. Because it, it goes to a gray. It goes to a pink. It goes to a pink. So I'm going to pull up 
I have. This is the bag. It was so a this kit. Was, this was a kit. This that is a she Mrs. Did, Brown's what, bag. Three years ago, oh, two to three years yeah, ago. Yeah, about three years ago. With Mrs. Brown's and these, collaboration. I love this, these colors. Yeah. So yeah, it would go from this purpley color at the toe mm -hmm. down into a pink. And that's sort of where it would end because you do one sock from the center and one sock from the outside. Yes. And that way they, you get the matching socks. So yep. I did a lot of like tracking my uh, row counts so that I would make sure that everything would match up. Yeah. And it just matches beautifully. And like, like Sheila was saying, I think I'm going to do a pair of shorty socks that will get me to that pink because yeah. I just love that pink. I think to make sure I would do um, contrasting toe and heel. Yeah, I have enough, I have some, like enough leftovers and yes, uh, yeah. things. But I think so. just to make sure, sure, because you don't want to get one sock done and think I don't uh, have enough for this for the second sock. So well, no, I, would would, I would definitely. I would do it the same way where I pull I know. from the but center. But I would still, I would yeah. still yeah. add. I would yeah. still do that because that way it really will help make sure. sure. Yeah. And just make sure that I have enough to, because yes. there's not, yeah. Well, I haven't weighed it, but there, yeah. yeah, there might not be enough. Yeah. So I have two pairs of finished socks. Woo! Woo Yay! I'm so happy about that. And, and uh, then when I went down there, uh, or on the way back, I had brought some cotton because Sheila had said to me that she likes doing dish like the dishcloths in the Does car. They're nice quick. too. You, yeah. Yeah. They're really quick to do. And so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll try that. Well, I brought because we're cotton. trying to use up stash, and so she did. Yeah. She so used up a fair bit. I used up a fair bit of my stash, and I ended up making. I think on the way, I think I made about three on the way back, three dishcloths. Yeah. And then I kind of kept going yes. when I got back just because yeah. I wanted to finish the And you the gave me balls. one, so that add one to that because yeah. you gave me one. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, five. And mine was and six. six. So, so she I made six, six dishcloths. Yeah. Now, I wanted to show the pattern is a Bernat pattern that I think I'm positive I picked up. You know those, if you go to Michael's, you get those free patterns. They have the ones that you can just rip off. off. Um, so it's this pattern here. Um, and I've never yeah. really worked with cotton like this. Just sort of hold it there like that. Yeah, so, so it looks like a citrus slice. Yeah. And I just thought that was so, so cute. fun. So I ended up making an orange slice. I think I gave you an orange slice. Yeah. So I've yeah. got an orange slice. The, the only thing is the pattern calls for like a little loop. So I guess you can hang yes. it. For, yeah. I'm not going to do that because I, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that with yeah. my own. So, uh, Pink, this was the gray pink fruit, which I think is awesome. It's so the pink, that's how the pink came out. Yeah, so the pink was a variegated pink. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I did a lemon. Well, actually, I decided to make it fun, so I did a lemon slice with a uh, wedge, wedge of orange just to make it a little bit fun. So another I got another pink. pink one. And then this one, I wanted to use up a bunch of little bits I had left, so I did three wedges in each color. That's I just, great. I just thought it would be I fun. I love it. It's so fun looking. So, so I've and got so all these dish cloths. And those are also great for hostess gifts. Yeah. Like, that's the one thing you know, I find. If you do those dish cloths, um, I find that they're great. Like if you know that you're going to be going to somebody's house yeah. or whatever, you can give them a, a dish cloth. Well, you know what I thought was fun is you, you can get like um, scented things. So you can get yes. like pink grapefruit scent. So you could give them, yeah. you know, like a mm -hmm. hand wash. Yep. It wouldn't necessarily be dish Yes. Di dishwashing stuff um but like a maybe hand soap yes. or something with a list because this could be a face cloth too yes they can they or, can a, they actually you know, say they can be like you use them in the shower they're cotton yeah, they're cotton a, a terry so a terry cloth like face a, cloth is cotton 100 percent cotton this is 100 percent cotton scented so. pink pink grapefruit yes. or orange yeah or, a, like a nice bar of soap yeah yeah something to go with it mm -hmm. and it would make it really cute but anyway it i'm would. keeping all of these for myself because yeah. i just really like them. yeah so. there i know it's so awesome like yeah. it just it was so much fun she was just like wow yeah look at that it's i've already like done this I've, wow i've already, already finished yeah this wow so I, <laughs> like i think i did three or four yeah and then i did a, a bunch more um when i got home yeah so yeah is great fun. Well, they're, they're nice. great little projects that yeah. that just you know what it uses up stash. Yeah, and you've got stuff in your stash. So like if you've got any and of the caution, like because these were the solid colors, I get the big jumbo balls of the handcrafter cotton. Mm -hmm. So and they generally are not a solid color. No, they're, they're usually variegated. like variegated or speckled yeah, or I whatever. Yeah, I have some down here. I've got tons of that. Yeah. So, so. yeah. 
But it would still work for that. Like, yeah, you oh, don't yeah. even have to just change. You just no, sort of you keep can, knitting it and just yeah. knit it in the circle and just don't alternate the way it says. Yeah. For the, like, the white in between the, white, the wedges yeah, and stuff. it's supposed to, like, show off the wedge. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, you, you could could just, just do, do it. That. Yeah. Or squares. I mean, I went, yeah. I actually started looking for dish dishcloth patterns and I I've realized. i I've I know. I actually have a bunch in my Ravelry. Yeah. In your library. library. Yeah. And, and there, then and, I thought, and most of them are I free. Just had, I now have six yes. new dishcloths. Yes. I don't need any more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it is nice. They've got some, and dishcloths, it's great. Even if you're. Um, the one thing I find you could use them for also is um, for trying out a, a, squ a, a pattern. True, true. It's, you can it's use almost that. like a swatch. Yeah. And then you just yep. use it as a dishcloth. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. I know, I know. Yeah. So many things, so many things. Yeah. So, so finished. those are my Those apples. are hers. Yay. And um, yes, well, show your, because you got, you started your buttons. We both, like, I'm wearing my Ohm shawl. Yeah. So I think in the last and episode, we were wearing... I bought so they were buttons. All finished knitting. And the and buttons everything. are all on. Yeah. So Sheila's got her buttons on. So they're yeah. tr it's truly, truly finished It now. is absolutely And finished. we got the oh, buttons right when and we were in Florida. Yeah. Uh, because it takes 19 shops. buttons. Yeah. <laughs> and trying to find 19 of the same, if you want all the same, is really challenging because I find I, any of I the yarn stores shops probably we, only buy maybe, a, maybe dozen a dozen at a time in those tubes. Yeah. So um, we were fortunate in what mm -hmm. we found. So yep. tell them about yours because I love These the are sort of, I'm going to take this off so we can get it closer to see. Yeah. These, I wanted them lightweight because it is a fairly heavy shawl, but yes. I find if you put heavy buttons on it, it's, it's going to pull it, pull it and weigh it down. So these are sort of like the inside of a shell. Yeah, almost like an abalone. Yes. See how they got the nice... Yeah. The what, But what I found I liked, it's going to be hard to see, is look at the back of the it. The reverse of it. The reverse of it is, is lovely. like Mother of Pearl. I almost put them on the reverse, but they're all so different. Like this one, like look how dark this one is on the back. Yeah. It's so different, but it was so interesting. So yeah. I did that, and then I got these ones I did are just, these are more of a mother of pearl. They're yeah. very, very pale, and yeah. I thought that they suited being on the gray, whereas the other yeah. ones are much darker, like because it can hold these two side by side. Mm -hmm. You can see mm -hmm. that they're very different. There's the pale one, and mm -hmm. there's the, the dark one. Yeah. So one and two. Mm -hmm. There. I know it's hard to see the light reflects everything. Yeah. So, but yeah, they're very shiny. So they're perfect. They're yeah. just wonderful. And so last night I started putting mine on and I got um, cork buttons for mm -hmm. mine because I wanted something neutral uh, because my and is, lightweight too. and lightweight. But um, I wanted my because my colors aren't when I when it buttons, it's not going to. They're not going to. The colors aren't going to line up and match because the colors are very different. Yes. As you can see, so I just I don't want to um, I don't want anything. That, I wanted it to be neutral, so yes, that it just definitely didn't, it wasn't going to be jarring because one side is going to have buttons that come through yes. the color piece. Yeah. So um, so I picked a cork, and it's just plain cork. Yeah. It's just very simple and um, kind of it looks nice on the 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 um, yeah. off white color yes, and I, I haven't finished the side um she has to do the other have side to do still. the other side still so i haven't done that but i've done it all on the on the mm -hmm. short side yes and i'm really happy with how that looks you can see mm -hmm. so i think it's gonna i think it's and just the fact that like my choices for colors based on chakra colors yes it's um, beautiful and this kind of more n neutral natural the idea of having a cork just really appealed to me. So yeah, so that's I've used it as a blanket already, yes. and that's like in the car in the yeah. mornings when we were driving we were down drunk, because I we get we're well. on the road by six o'clock in the morning. So I it's used cool. mine as a lap like a, as a, as a, a lap, lap blanket, blanket while she was in the car. Yeah, <laughs> and it was just it was perfect for that. It so. is. It's absolutely. It was absolutely perfect. For yeah, that. it was yeah. just. The but I used it days, when yeah. we got home. It was still a little cool, so I just mm -hmm. laid it where I sleep on the yeah. bed. I stretched the whole thing yeah. out. I added it on top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it helped. It yeah. helped. But um, so I did a lot. I have quite a few FOS. Yeah. Um, I but did not a lot to show. No, no, because <laughs> I've gifted a bunch of all, all the stuff. I've had to give it. I've had to give them to the recipient. Yeah. Um, 
On the way down, I was knitting a pair of Sock Monkey because I did the test sample, like the, the, for the yarn test knit for um, Amanda of yarn, uh, the Yarn Enabler. Uh, she wanted some samples for some trunk shows that she was doing, so I knit them up because I, I can knit a sock in like a day and a half. So I knit that up so I got to keep the rest of the yarn. So I knit, um, she wanted one of Sock Monkey. So what I did with the leftover is I knit my daughter-in-law a pair of Rose City Rollers with the Sock the Monkey. So she got yeah. those. They fit her. She loves them. Absolutely loves Great. them. I knit, um, and then I knit a, bu a bunch of other colors for her as well, like several other colors. Colorways that she Colorways was that she wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, and so she said she would give me a skein of yarn for doing that. So that was very generous of her to do that. Yeah. So I told her, I said, the one that I really, really want is her sock monkey in love. So it's pink instead of red yes. with the gray. So I knit that up for my, uh, for my other, other daughter-in-law because it was her birthday. So I knit it up. I got the shoe size. I found, um, online. I went, um, I just Googled six and a half shoe size uh, and it came up with the rough dimensions of the foot so I, I used that because the very very first pair of socks I ever made her were like way too big <laughs> <laughs> so I did that and I had made uh, her husband my son um, a pair of the sock monkey ones for Christmas about two Christmases ago so I've been wanting to get this sock monkey in love to make her the matching, the girl matching pair. She loves them. Good. Absolutely Great. loves them. And so they fit? They fit. Yay. Um, I left all the ends. I didn't sew anything in. Yeah. I left all the ends open so that I, uh, in case I uh -huh. needed to adjust it somewhere, yeah. I could take it back and adjust it in case it didn't fit properly. But uh, my son came over and he goes, yep, they fit here. So I <laughs> sewed in all the ends for him. <laughs> so now they're hers and everything's good. good. So they have been given to the recipients. Um, I had, uh, we came back early. Well, not early. Um, we changed. We were actually going to be in Florida for April. But my son and his wife, uh, my youngest son and his wife, are were expecting our second grandchild the middle of April. Their second Their child. second Yes, their second child, my second granddaughter, third. my yeah. third grandchild. Yeah. They, um, so um, I thought, oh, I, I better get knitting <laughs> because when I got back, I thought, I better knit something for this little thing yeah. that's on its way. Um, so I knit um, watermelon because I did the watermelon sock for Amanda. So I knit out of what was left, um, I knit just one of those rolled baby, just one of the baby hats that just rolls. The yeah, brim just the brim rolls. rolls up. It's a little So I thing. knit one of those and oh. I started with the green and then it went to the white and then it was the watermelon. Yeah. So I did that for her. Oh my God. It was so, so cute. So cute. The pictures of her. Oh, so, so cute. So adorable. So adorable. Little... Um, so I knit that for her and then I made a sweater for her. Um, just, it's the, um, it was all in one top down. It was the, uh, Perperium sweater, which is a free pattern on, uh, it's hard to see cause it's, it's just off white and I put little, uh, daisy buttons and it's got the one little ladybug button. It's so so I finished that. It fits her and what it is, it will fit it. Prepare. Is that in your, your Ravelry? No, I haven't, put, okay. I haven't added it to my Ravelry yet. Yeah. But Perperium. I found out means, and it tells you on the pattern, that's the first six weeks after birth. Oh, that's what we yeah, have preparium means. Oh, so that's it's meant for when they're just, just born. born. Yeah, so I actually didn't have the right yarn, I had a slightly thicker yarn. It's still, it's like a heavier yarn that you use, it's like a DK worsted weight yarn, light worsted. So I used the um, Bernat Karen. Simply mm -hmm. Soft. Mm -hmm. I had a skein of that lying around. So, yay, I used that. From Stash. Yeah, love Stash. Best. I know, I know. <laughs> so I used that, and I, I, the only thing I went out and bought was the buttons, the little daisy yeah. buttons, because I had, I was going through the buttons I had, and I found the little ladybug one. Yeah. So oh, I thought, oh, and great. I thought, oh, and daisies. It's a perfect daisies, ladybugs, ladybug, you know, yeah. same sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and I used the four and a half millimeter instead of the four millimeter yeah, needles. It was a little thicker. Yarn. It was a little thicker yarn. So, and so it's a little bit bigger, so it should fit her probably till the end of June. 
which is by then she won't really need anything. She won't. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's been a cl it's been chilly, cool spring, chilly spring so far. So. Fairly cool. So, but yeah. So all of those are done, gone, gifted. That is that. But while we were away, excuse me, and I got to fulfill one of my, and I'm hoping I can do it again this year at some point in time. Um, one, of I, I, one of my knitting goals, personal knitting goals, and that's to do a test knit. And uh, Leah M. Designs, her name, Michelle Krause is the designer uh, I'm behind Leah Michelle Designs. And she put out a thing saying um, she wanted some test knitters. She showed the shawl and she wanted to know who would test knit. So I thought, oh, I'll put, throw my name in the hat. So I got ear burned on Ravelry for it. And I'm reading and there's so many people and they're all going, I'd love to, but I just can't right now. I'd love to, deadline. I just can't. You know, like it, there's a certain deadline. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, it had to be done by April 8th. And I thought, well, we'll be back. I don't have the yarn. But tomorrow's going to rain. And where we, We're in Florida. in Florida. Yeah. It's going to be a rainy day. So I'm like to my husband, I said, you're taking us to a darn good yarn tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so he, we did. We went. We bought the yarn. Yeah. I'm going to show you the yarn. I did so post I, all we this did on post Instagram. We did post a few photos on Instagram yeah. uh, in progress. Yes. And even a finished, finished yes. photo. Yes. So these were the yarns. I used Blue Sky Fibers. These were the so, yarns. And it was the first time you'd used Blue Sky Fibers. Yes, it was the first. Yes. Oh, it's fabulous. This it's is 100% really um, Highland wool. Yeah. But it's so soft. It's yes. been very well treated. So it's so, so, so soft. Yeah. So this was the first color. Uh, and the main color, it's called cast iron. So it's just very, it's a nice charcoal Char gray. Yep. Um, the next color that you use the most of is this one. It's called, uh, what's it called? Pressed grapes. So those were like really nice together. Mm -hmm. And then this one you use the least of is called golden meadow. And it's a nice pop of a, of of a yellow. bright green. So these three together, when you put the three together, they just, it's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Like we really, when we found the yarn that we wanted, I wanted to use for it. It was trying to find the colors. Yes. Now these are all 50 gram skeins. The, the, these, these ones were 50 gram skeins. These ones. Yes. Yeah. Um, and one was enough for for this color because I only use you only use about 70 yards of it. Yeah. Um this one I had to get two because I use more than one skein. More than one but not not two whole ones. Yeah. Um and this one they had a gray but it was a pale gray. It yeah. was like the lighter gray, almost like the gray of my pajamas. Yeah. Um but I really like the darker gray with it. Mm -hmm. The lighter gray just I don't know with these two colors it's yeah. like you know like the, they just yeah. had limited colors. Mm -hmm. So it was just and I just found these worked best with yeah. it. So I'm so happy about that and this is the, the result, result of it. So yeah, I mean, and it's it just so it just it's a really pretty uh pattern yes. as you can see. I'm yes. going to just show like, like it's got like, these eyelet, yeah. big, large, like oversized eyelets, which are really nice. Yes, and this and then for the color work, zigzaggy. Yes, the effect. color work is actually slip stitches. Oh, okay. it's not. It, it's not. Yeah, it's like you're slipping a stitch, and then like you slip it, and then you knit the next one, one and then yeah. but the next row around, you might knit it or yeah. slip it. So, yeah. and that's how you get the design. Cause it's really it's all neat. done slip like Chevron and I think looking. I I think I did a really nice job on my floats yeah, too. Yeah, I think you did too. I was just thinking that. And then so, down here on the stripes, it looks yes. really nice. This is the reverse. Yeah, this but is the, the reverse it looks side. really yeah. nice. But it's a really nice pattern. Yes. Like it's got a really nice, um, like interest. So yes. you've got and it it, it so knit up really fast because it is worsted weight yeah and it's so soft yeah the one thing i found and i was telling it to um, nancy in our knit night last night i said the one thing i stretched and stretched and stretched this but i found i don't know if it's because it's the type of yarn yeah it it wants to squeeze back mm. so like i can stretch it even wider and like closer to the finished finished dimensions, dimensions but it, it, it wants suggested. to shrink back my uh, yeah. on my own yeah. so that's all but the uh, my color work doesn't pucker 
Yeah. Like it doesn't pucker at all. Yep. So I'm very, very happy with it. And it was just released. She just released it. It released the it pattern yesterday, yesterday for sale. Yeah. And it's called the Moody Shawl. Yeah. So. So I would, yeah, I would definitely. And the other thing I too I it. like about this is the edging is a rib. Yeah, it's a rib edging. So like there's just enough interesting things happening mm -hmm. that as a knitter, Yes. It's not complicated. You don't no, have to be in the least. Not in the least. Matter, not in the least. It's just interesting enough to be fun. Yes. I, I would I would say this is um advanced beginner. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because like if you maybe want if you've never done like a slip stitch to see how this pattern works, yeah. this would be a fun shawl to yes. do. And she actually has a matching cowl. Oh, very to go cool. with it. But I, I actually have enough yarn. I could probably make another one of these. Wow. That's how, because I bought... Just different color combinations? or No, no, no. no the same exact color. same. Hmm. Because the dark gray I bought was a 150, 150 gram, gram ball. Yeah. Because they didn't have it in the 50 gram balls. Yeah. Because I really would only have ne needed two of the 50 gram balls. Yeah. 100 grams. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, they didn't have it. And I really wanted the dark gray. So yeah. I'm like, well, you know. Or I could make a hat. True. Yeah. I can make a hat to yeah. go with it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I absolutely love the pattern. It was so much fun to work on. Yeah. And I had it done, um, like I wasn't knitting on it constantly because mm. I only had the pattern on my iPad. Um, I couldn't take, I didn't really want to take it down to the pool, pool. to work on and it yeah. was heavier. So I only did it like evenings and there was one day I didn't, and I had it done in a week. Yeah. I just didn't have it washed and blocked. I waited till we got yeah. home. That was like literally the first thing I did. I <laughs> stuck it in the sink. I had it soak. Then I washed it and I put it in the, and I've got people coming. Oh, mom, grandma, blah, blah, blah. I'm downstairs. I'm pinning. I'm, <laughs> I've got, I've got my, my, uh, my, uh, what is it? The, oh, yeah. there's, 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 I forget what they're called. Oh, those, the, the, yeah, the, the, the long things that go into... For in, shawls, For shawls, just stretch it, it. Yes, for, the wires, blocking wires. Blocking wires, Yes, yeah. I had the block, and I'm into blocking wires, and I'm flicking it all in, and I'm, like, stretching it out and stretching it out and pinning and stretching it. like, where's mom? <laughs> <laughs> she's hiding in the basement. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, so that was another thing that I did. So, yeah. like, that's not bad. Two pairs of socks... Uh, a baby hat, a baby sweater, um, a shawl. A shawl. Um, I started these socks. I just finished them the other day. The this is um, I got both of them done. So this uh, yarn yarn colorway is called uh, Beachy Keen Jelly Bean. Um, I won it from mm -hmm. Critium Handmaids uh, for naming it. Yes. Because I saw the colors and they're very beachy colors because it's hard to see, but the light color actually has a hint of green in it. You know, sort of like the sand and the grass in the sand. Mm -hmm. So that's the light color it has that. And so it may, when she posted it and was looking for a name for it, oh, there's a nice bit of green. Um, yeah, it looked uh, it looked beachy to me. The colors yeah, were very definitely beachy. beachy. So and it just for some reason it was from um, it's close to it's not the same, but it's it's other than a letter. It's uh, from a quote from uh, Greece. Um, Sandy asks Rizzo one day, "How you doing, Rizzo?" And she goes, "Oh, peachy keen jelly bean, right?" Yeah. So and I call it beachy keen jelly bean. That's what that. So that's how I named it, and that's what she. Uh, so she, I won it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I thought that that was really cute. So I have those done. So that's nice. That's finished. That's it. That's for my finished work. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's <laughs> it. Oh my god. So, yes, I, so, as you can see, we've been busy. We've been busy. <laughs> we've been knitting up a storm here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that was it. But um, what are we working on um, now? Um, I will go first. I yeah. am working. So I want to finish putting the buttons on my own shawl. Mm -hmm. So, because I, I consider that kind of, it's kind of an FO, kind of a finished, uh, yeah. uh, finished, kind of still on the go. Yeah. Um, so... While I was still in Florida, um, I got started, started a, a third pair of a third socks. pair of socks. Can you believe it? So I got I again. These are from uh, Yarn Enabler. These are her watermelon socks. Yeah, her her watermelon yarn, 
Um, and this is a, a pair of socks that I'm going to, and I decided yeah. because it drives me crazy when you have all this yarn left over yes. when you follow the pattern, they go, okay, now like, you know, you've done six inches or whatever, just go, just do the ribbing and bind off and you have all this yarn left. Yeah. And so I, I said to Sheila, you know what? I think I want to make toe up. up. This is like the first, and this pair, is my of first pair of toe up. I think I want to make. Um, knee socks. Yeah. Because I think these would be so cute as, as knee socks. Oh, so cute. So that's my aim. So in order to do knee socks, I had to do toe up, which I've never done before. So yeah. it's a kind of a first for me. Mm -hmm. Plus I think I did the, um, German short row toe, toe? Yeah. on this. Uh, and so I have actually reached the point. So I, and I've got, um, the other sock as well is at the same stage but this one this sock is actually sorry it's all tangled up because I'm getting started on the, the heel. heel and actually I guess I've got it's this one here I've got started on the heel but yeah. this is this is where the other one is as well and um but I've gotten I've gotten started on the heel on the other one mm -hmm. so I've done sort of half the first half of a German short row heel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's where I am on this. And then I'm going to figure out how to, because I know you have to increase as you go up if you're yeah. going to do like a knee high sock. Yes. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because I figured okay. I just want to knit it until, uh, until I kind of run out of yarn. Yeah. That's, that's what I want to do. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But so, that's great. So that's where I am on this one. Mm hmm. And then, um, while we were away, I brought all the stuff for my Birds of a Feather shawl, mm -hmm. so I got started on that. That's so pretty. And I posted that on uh, Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. The um, the yarns are uh, this one here is Chili Knits yarns. This in her Cotton Candy colorway. We ordered that, and that is uh, her alpaca sock. It's Peruvian wool, nylon, and super fine alpaca. It's really nice. Yes. And the mohair is a Canadian dyer, Lizzie Ann Yarns. It's her Kid Silk Lace, 72% Kid Mohair, 28% Silk. One ply called Vintage Lavender. And it, you, we got them oh. like months apart. Months apart. And when we got, we, ended, we got the mohair... After uh, yes, we got that after we and we, so, we and saw we did, these and, and we wanted didn't to have, get them. We didn't have the chili knits with us when we saw. That's and Margaret's. so we were kind of just, I want to say guessing, but just yes. trying to remember the color properly. Yes, and we totally lucked out. They yes, just, they look like they were made to be together. Yeah, yeah. I d and I, I just absolutely I love, love it. It's so the mohair is so, so soft. soft. And I love this little um, yeah. pattern in just here. Just a little sort of feather and fan pattern that she's put in there. And it's then I so do a few pretty. more of these sort of ones, like the solid. And then you throw in another, another feather, feather and fan. fan. So it just adds enough interest. Yeah. Absolutely love it, though. So, I cannot so wait to have that one done. I really like this one. Yeah. And it knits up so neat. Yeah. It does. It knits up fairly quickly because it's just garter stitch, most of it, other than that one little pattern row. Hmm. So it's great. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's one that I'm enjoying very much. So, but that is basically, and I'm working on a baby blanket out of the Burnett baby blanket mm -hmm. yarn. So, cause I have a grandson coming in August. <laughs> so it's like, ah, <laughs> the year of the babies, year, just like yeah, it was two, two years, years ago, ago. Year of the babies. <laughs> So, but yeah, so that is pretty much what we have done. Yes. And are working on. So, um, um, but what did we get new? Yes. Well, I showed you the yarn from um, a good yarn. I also, Margaret got a couple of pom poms. Yes. I'm going to show you that. So I wanted to, oh, this is falling over. Yes. We have too much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff here. <laughs> And, then, and I have anyway. to clean this room out because we're getting the flooring done. Yeah, so um, this is one of the pom-poms. I've actually put it on, but isn't that, I just... It's fabulous. I Absolutely it. fabulous. And it's a, it's a snap one. Yes. So I can take it off, can for take it off to wash, which I yeah. just love. 
um, and then the snap is is on here, which is this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be a yeah. snap, and I gave it a try because I wear this hat in the winter. When yeah. we came back, uh, it's been really chilly. I mean, yes. even the weather forecasters are saying, "Oh, we're going to be a couple of degrees under where we should be." Mm -hmm. So it has been chilly, and I went for a walk down by the lake after I sewed this on. I went for a walk, and it was windier. And so I walked around with it on, and I could feel the pom-pom bouncing, but it didn't come off. No. So I'm really happy with how yeah. it turned out. So this is... It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect with that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, and like if I decided I didn't want it on, I could still walk around with just the little snap on it. But yeah. yeah. And then the other pom-pom. So the other pom-pom was more of a neutral color. And... Uh, Got it. Okay, I was originally going to put it on this, uh, the Branta hat that I made, and I it, thought, it yeah, goes, it but goes. you know what, I, I think I remember say, telling you last time when I finished this, I think you should make one, that I should, yarn. I need to make another one of these, but have the pink on the top and the variegated on the bottom, and this would look much nicer yeah. sitting on the pink. Yes, it would stand out that much more, yes. Yeah. And see, for this one then, what yeah. you do is, if you make the other hat, yeah. what's left over, make, make a pom-pom pom 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 for, uh, for this one. Or a, yeah, a pom-pom. Yeah. yeah. So, and these are faux fur, just in case anybody was wondering. Yeah. This is, um, this is, this is the brand. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Porter Farms. Yeah, faux, faux fox fur pom-pom. So that's, uh, that's what we got. Mm -hmm. um, both of them are the same from the same maker yes and uh, yeah so that's what I'm going to do I think I'm going to make another one of these pink on the top and put it on because I find it it just it looks really blah yeah well it does it it, it depends on what you like some people yeah. don't want it to stand out like yeah. that like me <laughs> and other people like some people might like that yeah the, the fact that it doesn't stand out and other yeah. people want it to stand out yeah but even if you have it on the pink because these are such muted colors it will it'll still, still look, look really nice it'll on still the pink. work it's, really well yes without but, being stand out <laughs> yeah but i think it'll it'll show off the pom-pom yes it will. and it'll show off the pink yes as opposed to kind of all getting lost and then suddenly this furry yes. thing is there yeah. so Definitely. so i think that's what i'm like my original intention was to do another hat using mm -hmm. the le leftover yarn yes and just reverse it so that 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 works, that works perfect yeah then. works yeah. perfect yep so we got that. Um, I, so I showed you the yarn. Um, mm -hmm. They also had these really, I really like these curved um, cable needles. Mm -hmm. I have some of those. I have Minor some plastic, plastic ones, but I like the fact that these, these are, are metal. metal. I really like the fact yeah. that these were metal. Yeah. Just so, so nice. And then they had, as you're at the checkout, they had all these little things. Checkout they, is a dangerous place. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they had all these, and this is a little thing of stitch markers. These are, it's going to be hard to see, see but I'm going to show them to you. It's a star. Yeah. Hold it so that it's against the dark green of the wall. Hold it then right there. See. Yeah. Can you see that? It's a star shape. Isn't it's that a cool? star. And then it also comes with uh, one small stitch marker. Or a progress keeper. Progress keeper. That is a star as well. Yeah. So, Yeah. So that and I just thought, oh, they're just so pretty. They're so pretty. Now they probably get catchy and what have. I don't care. They're pretty. They're pretty. They're, <laughs> they're pretty. pretty. Yeah. They're yeah. pretty. So that so. was that, and then we went to um, we went to spend um, a little while an afternoon at Venice Beach Venice in Beach. Venice, mm -hmm. uh, Florida. So we had a really nice lunch there at Made in Italy, mm -hmm. which is a fabulous re Italian restaurant, and they Actually. spoke to the waiter. And they were saying that they actually import their flour from Italy. So it's like they homemade pasta, fresh made every day. So we ordered a pizza, our own individual pizza. And what they do is you can have it on your own. But when if you're all at one table, they'll make it a big, long, um, square pizza. So it's yeah, like, like a this is my section. This is your section. This is your section. So you get like a three-foot pizza. Yeah. 
about a foot wide but yeah. about three feet long she had and her own pizza and it just like but all together and it was just so good we had a really a nice glass of wine yeah. each yes yeah. just so so good it was really nice um then my husband went and napped in the car while we wandered around <laughs> the street and then went to, to the, the yarn, yarn store shop. so we went yeah. to needlefish yarns and that is um a lovely lovely yarn shop um two things we picked up Margaret got that one. Hashtag whip. Yeah, because I've got a lot of those. Yeah, so that's that <laughs> one's hers. Yeah. <laughs> and then I picked up one, and it's uh, hash, uh, needlefish, needlefish Yarns of Venice. So it's just, just a little wee. That's it. Yeah. I just thought, yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, but we did pick up yarn. Mm -hmm. So there's yours. This one was mine. Yes. So this is called Himalayan Salt, the colorway. Yes. And it's, um, oh, it's upside it's down. Emma's yarn. Emma's yarn. And she's um, a Florida, she, young she's a Florida dyer. She's yeah. in high school. Yep. Yeah. So it's practically perfect sock is yes. what we got. Mm -hmm. um, so it's 80-20 superwash merino nylon. And yeah, mine is this Himalayan salt. So it's like a, a pinkish color, like yeah. those uh, salt lamps yeah. or salt, yeah. A nice neutral pink. Yeah, because I I'm looking for neutrals, Some neutrals. to go with mm -hmm. all the speckled yarn that I have. Yes, for because I just think for many different things. Yeah, yeah. So. There's, it, you need to have a few neutrals in your stash just to um, help balance out. Yeah, um, some of the crazy. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I got um, this colorway, and it's called Nailed It. <laughs> Again, a really nice. Yes sort of it's a relatively neutral i mean it's yes. got it is it's, it's a mostly gray, gray but, but it's got nice speckles, speckles of, of uh like a like black mm -hmm. and blue and there's bits of brown little, in little there tiny bit there's a little dot of orange yes. or a rusty color I yeah guess. there's some rusty colors in there so it's really really yeah. nice yeah. yeah i know so it's just it's a really nice um speckle but it's a mm -hmm. calm speckle. yes yeah. yes it is yeah and this m is yarn yes she's she is a florida dyer yep. and she's in high school but she's homeschooled and she was having some trouble with math apparently mm -hmm. and so um i think her mom does a lot yeah. to do with yarn must have a lot to do with and, it and and showed her about um dyeing and ratios and all yeah. of that sort of stuff. So that's how she gave yeah. her a project to dye yarn. Yes. And um, so this is what the, the owner of Needlefish was telling us, that this yeah. was a, a math project for, for her. her. And it it became really successful. And yeah. she's now um, dyeing yeah. yarn and selling it throughout Florida. Yeah. So one of the things that, well, we've talked about this, but if we go someplace, we love looking for local mm -hmm. dyers yes. and trying to support Indians. This is Especially actually indie dyes. Yeah, this yeah, is like a, the a young, perfect a, indie dye yarn, yarn person to support. A story yes. like you just this is the kind of girl you want to support, the mm -hmm. kind of person you want to support. Who's, yes, who's learning and seeing success from learning from yes. her education. So, yes, yeah. yes. So here is I'm going to show you. There's the there's the sticker. Mm -hmm. of the yarn of this thing so it's needlefish of venice mm -hmm. but yeah so that's um that's where it was yep. and a great great um it's a nice little store nice, nice selection of yarn and both of the stores both um a darn good yarn and needlefish like we walked in and there's people sitting Same there knitting, knitting. Like just I love that. I no find classes, no, not they just people are sitting around knitting. That it's that it's so open nice. and comfortable mm -hmm. and inviting. That local people come in and that obviously the owners love interacting with their customers. Yes. Oh yes, very much um, so. That it's a haven for some people, I guess. And yeah, yeah. So oh, it was just yeah. so, so nice was really to see nice. that. So yeah. nice to see that they're so open and welcoming to um, people. They don't. I because I actually asked. Um, in November, when I went to a darn good yarn, I actually asked, um, "Do you have a set knit night?" And they're like, "No, people just come, come yeah. and knit, but they don't really have a set knit mm -hmm. night." So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that was our acquisitions there. But there's a place in Bradenton, not far from we are in Sarasota. It's about a 20 minute drive, um, and it's called 
anybody in the area will know it's called the Red Barn. It's a big, huge flea market. Mm -hmm. They have a book, the Book Man. So I found a bunch of books, four bucks each. Older books, but yeah, Knitter's Handbook. And this one has stitches, slip stitch color work, uh, cross stitch rib, alternating two by two, different types of rib, baubles and knots, lacy eyelets, uh, like just so many uh, different increases, different decreases, how to go through your tension and gauge, um, emboss, like just a whole bunch of stuff. Then I had uh, found this one too, the Knitter's Bible. Yeah. Which is pretty much along the same lines. And it has and a, bunch uh, of a few patterns and different stitches in there that you can use. Yeah. So, so here's just a, an example. Some yes. cable stitches. Yes. That you might Cables, do. bobbles, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So, so they there's, were, they're know, both right? information books. Yeah, on that. twisted stitches, and I yeah. love that they have like the the photo, the, like the illustrations. Yes. So it's got everything for whether you're a beginner or if you're looking yeah. to um, create something a little more advanced, like those those cable stitches and bobble stitches yes. and things. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool. That's a great book to have. Yeah, and then I saw this one, and it was how just had so, how how could I resist doing this, right? Nursery knits. Yeah. So it's just got a bunch of twenty five easy knit design for clothes, toys, and decorations, all Sorry. kinds of stuff. So to add to my collection. limited collection, <laughs> so which I'm just thrilled with. Just thrilled. Yeah. With. We have a thing for books. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. It's kind of sad. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I just managed to, I was clearing away a bunch of books. Um, I just kind of got into, I'm not doing the whole Marie Kondo. I, that seemed to be, I saw That's so almost many, over the top. Oh my gosh. I saw, well, uh, so many people that I am friends with on Facebook or yeah. on Instagram. I look at them and they're, they're all talking about how they're doing Marie Kondo stuff in their houses. And I'm like, I'm not ready for Does that. Does it level. bring me joy? Yeah, and I know I'm that not, that's part that's of it, a little but, bit, but that's just a little bit much. But I, mm -hmm. when I got back, I was like, yeah, even before then, yeah, I need to kind of clear out. And I managed to clear out a couple of shelves in my bookcases. Yes, you and, did. And, and then even when I came back, I, I thought, oh, I think I can get rid of a few more. And I was yeah. staring at my bookshelves and I managed to get rid of a few more. That's great. So, because books were are just my big downfall. I know, so I know. Our just... our house when we were growing up was filled. filled we had with... bookcases and bookcases yeah. and bookcases. And I remember, it's so, you know, it's funny you say that because I remember um, my friend in high school, Laura. Um, she came over once with her boyfriend, who turned into her fiance, who turned into her first husband. Yeah. Um, he, and he came into our house and he actually, he walked in and he just looked around. And he said, I've never been in a house with so many books. <laughs> and I was like, our parents love well, books. Even though we never really saw our dad sitting and reading, we, our much. mother would read two she to was, three books a week. Yeah. She was a voracious reader. Oh yeah. So, just and, always, and then I turned reading. into an English major. So yes. I am a massive <laughs> yeah. book lover. So. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> just like, wow. Yeah. So yeah. So that was... So yeah. just, yeah, we've got to, I do have to watch my books. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So. And Irene always loved a lot of books and cookbooks. She she, she never, was, she wasn't a cook. She no. never cooked. She called them her look books. Yes. <laughs> because she loved looking at. Yes. Because you know, cookbooks have beautiful photography. Yes, they do. Um, and she would look at them. I think she would make certain. She tries something once in a while. Yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, she loved her cookbooks. Yeah. Yeah. But we did have a good time in Key West. We got Margaret down to Key yes, West. Yes. She had a blast down yeah, there. Yeah. Loved it. It was just I think, beautiful. I think I posted a few photos yes. while we were away. Yes. Um, we were able to post a few photos, mostly of us drinking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember one day I said, I think maybe I should post a photo of some something knitted just because... Just to show that we're actually still yes, knitting. Yes, we are still knitting. Like, <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, we did knit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but it was but just, we just happened to be knitting with a glass of wine. A <laughs> glass of wine, yeah. <laughs> or a margarita. <laughs> or a margarita, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was the place to go. But um, and while we were away, because it comes late, later, mid to later in the month, mm -hmm. our knit crate. So I have actually, three this, this months of knit crates to show. show you. Yes. So the first one will be February's because we never got, I'm pretty sure we didn't get to show you February's. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, this is the book 
our inspiration there's mm -hmm. a book with the inspiration yep. so the inspirations um i don't really know what the bold and beautiful yes okay so was this was this us yeah okay good vibes only yep so we got um it's Audine Wools by Nick Crate. We got their Halo DK, and this is 50% alpaca, 30% merino, and 20% nylon. And mm -hmm. the DK weight with 236 yards per skein. We got two skeins oh of this green. This is called malachite. Yeah. Malachite is a sort of a mineral deposit because I've yeah. seen, I actually have Look a, at the tonality in this. I the, have the a, tones are beautiful. A bracelet made of malachite beads. Yeah, so these were the color options that yeah, we, we would have got either, either purple, either the purple the, the, color or yeah. this, this color. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's the, a beautiful twist. I love a nice twist. Yeah. It's like, got look at that. just look a at nice, the nice gentle variegation yeah, in the, the color. Tone, yeah, the toning changes and stuff. Sometimes it's a little bit greener. Yeah. But other times, see, like there's like the. Yeah, it's, it's like light, very it's pale and green then it's dark. water. Yeah. I look at it more as like green ocean. Yeah. You know? So it's a really lovely. Yes. And again, the book that comes with it has a bunch of different patterns you get, in it. You get, you get all, all the patterns, patterns so for their sock. Whether you your sock whether you pattern? get a regular membership or a sock membership or an art or the artisan, style, yeah, uh, you get the patterns for all of them, which is you get a really knitting cool. pattern and a crochet pattern, and then we also got. I'm just trying to see. Okay, that's the crochet one, and then we have um, there is the sock pattern. Is that one? It's called striped lightning. Very cool. Yes. So yeah. So that's what you get. So you get two sort of shawl scarf patterns, at least rough, roughly. That's what they are. Mm -hmm. And then you get a sock pattern. Mm -hmm. So you're getting at least three, three patterns, patterns with it. With so that your was membership, and that was February. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that that kind of green. I think that sort of pale green, minty green. Is like Pantone's color of the year. Yes, there is. Yes, for 2019. Yes. So now March was only you only got one skein because I think they're doing very um, nice. a special special edition. I'm going to call it. I don't know yeah. what they would call it, but where they're just they're they're yes getting yarns that are really high. <sighs> different quality of yes. uh, fiber content yes. and so you're getting just the one skein yes this in. one the theme and inspiration was whisper mm -hmm. um and it just showed you some birds and things like that yeah. so these are the sort of the color inspirations on this page here uh, there we go yeah and this one is uh knitology mm -hmm. sheen in the colorway titmouse and it's 75% merino, 15% silk, and 10% cashmere. Yeah. So it is a really nice quality yarn. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's Sheila. That's so, so, yeah. Cool. So I could not make a pair of socks. I have bird. to. Yes, it is a bird. And I need to make, um, I need to add this to like a shawl. It needs to be up yeah, here. Yeah, because it's, it's. Needs to be up here. Yeah. <laughs> when it has cashmere and, and silk. silk Definitely. You want it next to your oh neck. yeah. So you, you only got one skein yourself. for marches mm -hmm. because uh, because it's got um, the silk and the cashmere mm -hmm. in it. You only got the one skein, um, and there's 400 yards in it. Nice. So so oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh and because it was something you also got a little bag this came with a project bag it came with a small project bag. Make something today. So it's a really, it's a nice sturdy bag. It yeah. is. It's it's a canvas yeah. bag. So, yeah, so that, I was so surprised to see the bag. I had no idea we were, we were getting a bag yeah. as well with it. So that was like a very, very nice surprise. Yeah. Um, and we just found out that next month they're doing a similar thing like this, just the one skein, because it's, I think it's got the silk and cashmere in it yeah. as well. So, and then just the other day, we got April's, mm -hmm. which April's inspiration was uh, entomology, which is bugs. Yeah. Just in case you were wondering. Yeah. 
so you can see there's the red of a ladybug and I don't know some sort of leaf eater leaf eater thing and uh, some other anyway there's a this is the bug that inspired I guess this colorway yeah and then down here I think this is the wormy yeah, bug that's thing the leaf, leaf eater and it inspired this yes so we got leaf eater <laughs> So it's beautiful, and this is another Audine wool, and it's their Wool's, wool's Psy DK, and Leaf Eater is the colorway, 85% Merino, 15% Cashmere. Oh my gosh. I know, it is so soft. It's really nice. And it's not really tonal, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's pretty um, solid, solid color, which is nice to have, it's and beautiful, and we got two, two skeins two of, of the, this one. That's like, DK, right? Yes, yeah. it's DK, it's like, oh my yeah. god. And again, it comes with two patterns. Two patterns. So you get your crochet. The crochet. I think this one's crochet. Yeah, that's yeah. the crochet one. So it's called chrysalis. Yeah. And it's quite pretty. Yes, it I is. Think. I think it's really pretty. And what's the other one? And that's that one. Yeah. And then this is called canopy. I really like that one. So uh, yeah, that's there we it. go. Yeah. Oh, I can't get I know. We're so bad. I'm so bad with there. the whole... I'd make a terrible weather person. I know. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so that one's nice, really nice. Yeah, nice pattern in and that one And then there's one a too. sock pattern in there too. A sock pattern at the very... At the back, I guess. So, yeah, it's... Keep going. There, there we go. Oh, that's really funky. That's really neat looking sock. Yeah. What's it called? Undergrass. Undergrass. Very I like the pattern. Cool. I like the pattern a lot. I like the the use of two colors yes. as well. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yes, it is very cool. So yeah, yeah, so like that's what you get. And so if you got the sock you that's the sock yarn, that's what you would get. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really nice. You get four patterns. Cause there is one that they show, but they do I think it's when you have to get go, online. Go online. So that's really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yes, it is. Very, very cool. So yay. And next month is this is the inspiration. Farmer's Market. So that is going to be really fun to see what they what they yes. come up with. Because yeah. obviously all the fresh fruit and veg. And yeah. There's just so much I know. potential for really happy colors. I know. I know. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've got, we've got so much yarn. We don't need to buy any because we're getting that every month. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that is just fabulous. Mm -hmm. But one of the things... Um, what are your plans for upcoming knitting yourself? Just a few um, things. I just... I want to finish um my watermelon sock that's mm -hmm. the my focus right now yeah uh i think the other item i'm gonna try and make is um that oh, what is it it's one of the mbk the shawl the one oh, that okay. you have oh the, the uh tremble the tremble shawl i have the yarn all set up ready to go for that so it'll probably be uh finishing the watermelon getting started on the tremble uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do dishcloths for a, a long time. She doesn't need any more for a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I'm not really sure that I'm. I haven't decided on anything else just yeah. yet. Um. Well, I want to work on. I've. I want. I've got to work on the baby blanket, but he's not coming till August. August. Well, they're saying he may come early, like his brother. His yeah. brother was five weeks early. So, um, so he may be so also. That might be yes. July. We or, do know it's a it's a boy. Yeah. So um, and my granddaughter when she was she was uh, a scheduled cesarean, and she was eight pounds thirteen ounces. Good size. Good, good size. Um, her name is Freya. F R E Y A, which is a Norse god. The goddess. Norse the yeah. Norse goddess of love. love. Beauty and War or something like yeah, that, I think yeah. it is, something. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so we're absolutely thrilled that she's here, oh, she's and she's adorable. just adorable. I, she's I so met her for the first yesterday. time yesterday. She held her the I'm entire time her. that they were here. And she was, she she's, was just this I remember, little... I remember saying, like, oh my gosh, she's so small. And even though it's been less than two years since the other two... Since Layla born, was born, yeah. It's, it's, you're like, wow, I can't believe they were and this she, small. And she, they're, oh, and they're she was... Small. 
over a, a like she was a pound heavier, heavier than, than her, her sister. sister. But she's just like, oh my gosh, she's just so tiny, tiny this little thing. Oh my gosh, and she's and, she, and you know how they're all just curled, in curled in into themselves. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, so she's cute, adorable. But when she's alert, I was telling Margaret. I said she she's like got actually very good neck control. She sort of is up and she's like looking around and like she can hold like for the for her for, age for her age she can real she has. Um, short periods of good extended neck control. Yeah. And because all the, like she'll do that and then all of a sudden she's just like that's it. Yeah, like I'm, yeah, okay, yeah. can't do it anymore. <laughs> but uh yeah, so she's like really just so very she's alert. A, very, very alert. So we're very pleased that uh all's good. All yeah. is good with yeah. her. Yeah. So now we just have to see. But um my plans, upcoming plans, I think I'm gonna knit a sock blank. I did the striped socks, and I have a couple pairs of striped socks. I've got these ones, too, that I need to net up, mm -hmm. right? The turtle pearl. This one is What Do You Mean? And it knits up striped like that. That's really and nice. And then this is, uh, everybody should know this one. This is their trench coat, and it knits up like this. Yeah. So those two. But what I'm going to do is alternate. Um, between, I have to do a sock blank, so I've got three to choose from. I didn't take one down to Florida like I thought I would, but, um, so I've got this one. This was our Rhinebeck 2018. Our friend dyed this yarn, so like that, the one half is blue and the other half is like purple and pink. Um, I got this one. This is, um, Rose Haven, and it's just a bunch of dancing sheep, sort of prancing sheep, whatever you want to call them. So we've got that one. And then this is the Rhinebeck 2017 Needles Up. Yeah. And that was, uh, did Andre, Andre Sue? Sue did this that is, yes, this is an Andre Sue. She doesn't do these anymore. So, but those are the three. So now I have to figure out which one I want to do. And then we've got the Frolic coming up so, next weekend. So tempting. Is yeah, it next weekend? It's, uh, yeah, the 27th. Yeah, next Saturday is, uh, so a week tomorrow is the Toronto Knitters Frolic. So we're going to that. <laughs> yeah, so that's put on by the Toronto Knitters Guild. Yes, um, happens every spring, sort mm -hmm. of this and, time. End of, of year. April, every spring, sort of like the last Saturday in April. Yeah, and um, so they're anyway. So that's uh, mm -hmm. and, and there's a lot of really good vendors there. They're, and they've got a whole bunch of new and vendors this year, now. There's a bunch of new ones. Yeah, um, a lot of our friends are knitting. Like our friend our fr Christina, the cozy knitter, she has a booth. booth yep. Um, Actually, Sandy, Sandy by the lakeside, by the lakeside. she's, she's got, a got a booth with her project bag. Yes. Um, does um, Patricia of Paradise? No, no, no she's she not, doesn't. but she is going to be there. Yeah. Um, Amanda, yarn enabler, will have her yarn right. at the booth with um, Feisty Fibers okay. and Yarn Therapist. They're sharing a booth. Yeah. So they're going to be there. Um, yeah. Definitely want if you're yeah. going. Erin of Bling Your it. String. Yeah, she's going to be there. Yeah. She always she has her booth. That's the first time I yeah. think I she met her. She has a really nice. She does. Yeah, she always has a nice selection. Yeah, she dyes she does. yarn and she makes project bags. And she she dyes she does sock blanks. Sock blanks as well. So yeah. yeah, so and she does make stitch markers mm -hmm. and yeah, all kinds of super stuff. Talented. She's so so yeah. talented. Yeah. yeah. So I want to have a look at some of her stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's I, know. Got, I always have to have a look at some of her stuff. Yes. So. Yes. I know. It's like, what do I need? Nothing. But yeah. Did you to. get a sock blank from her? From I did. Ages ago? I knit, my, I knit a pair of socks yes. from them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knit them. I think Excuse that's me. The first, I knit a pair last year. Is that the first sock blank that you knit from? No. 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 It was the one that I won at that movie night at Eric's. Oh, okay. I had oh, that right. gray, very, like, yeah. the gray, um, yeah. Ombre one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, that was the very first sock blank I knit from and that I bought. Yeah. And then I bought another one from Aaron mm -hmm. at uh, the KW about three years ago. It was about three years mm -hmm. ago. This mm -hmm. this September it'll be three yeah. years ago. Yeah. Um, that was when we decided to start holding the knit night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, I bought a sock blank. It was the green. I knit the socks last year. In my, when I was doing all my sock knitting, it was right. the green and pink with white, sort of. Right. Yes. Yep. Yep. So I did that. So I may have to get another sock blank from her because she does some nice sock blanks. Yeah. So she has sort of does themes. And she has a podcast. It's called She Must Knit. And she, every couple of weeks, she shows material. Mm -hmm. And she puts little kits together. So she'll make, like, project bags. And she does some yarn. 
oh, to, to go with coordinate. it. To coordinate with yeah. them. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So she does that at least once a month. She will show what she's made. Like, yeah. And she wants you to interact with her and yeah. vote on... She shows two uh, materials, patterns and stuff yeah. like that. And like which one... And so she makes the project bag to go with who, which one gets voted on, which, yeah. which pattern gets voted yeah. on the most. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very good. Very mm -hmm. interactive. Um, and she does the bingo. Yes. Yeah. 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 Crafty bingo. Yeah. So, yeah, she's definitely worth following. Yes, yeah. she is. She and, is. On, and on Ravelry as well. I, I can't believe all that she does in a month. <laughs> Me either. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I yeah. don't have a child at home, and I'm home all day, and I don't have a job, and I still don't get a quarter done of what she makes in a month. <laughs> I know. I know. So, but she has herself very organized. Very so. organized. Yeah, yeah. Very, very organized. I'm not organized like no, that. No, not like that either. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I think that is it. We are done. It's, yeah. It is going to be a little longer. We're definitely an hour, maybe just over an hour. An hour, yeah. Um, we don't do much editing, so yeah. we'll just, we splice <laughs> together. Yeah. If there's something that, like, snippets come out, like yeah, where we had the little technical difficulties there, yeah. that might get altered a bit, but that's all. That's it. Yeah. So, so. anyways, I hope everybody has a great uh, couple of weeks, and we should be back in a couple of weeks, and we can talk about the Knitter's Frolic. Yes. If we, if we did purchase anything. If. Yes. If. It's we're a big trying, really trying hard. hard. Like, I'm feeling really good about it's it. It's weird, so we're saying we're trying hard not to, but we do want to support some of these so, makers yes. and things like that. Yes. So it has to really catch our eye for us to yes. say, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> or I have to have that. Mm -hmm. Because I know one of the things we have to get are... Oh, why it's not... Oh, there it is. Oh, Take right. a look. Can you see what the problem is there? <laughs> yeah. Mine looks the same. Yeah. And guess who broke both of them? Her. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, I was, can you show me this? So I'm showing. Da, 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 da. Oh. oh, crack. <laughs> Needle broke. Yep. Needle yep. broke. So. The thing is, it's a really nice. I love working with them, but they're so fine that. Yeah, they just, I, I, mine are a 2.25. And these were the two, my 2.25s. So these are the, the Luca needles. Yes. And uh, you can the, see I that it just broke right off. Something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the driftwood, driftwood, right? These called. are driftwood wooden needles. Yeah. And uh, make happy driftwood wooden needles. Yeah, and They're yeah. So India. I was working away on mine, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, I can't quite get yeah. this. Can you?" And so she took it from me, and this was after she had broken hers. And I yeah. was like, "Oh my God, that's two pairs you've done." <laughs> yeah, you can so. complete the form. There is, if you go online, you can complete the form, and apparently they'll send you another pair. Yeah, but I don't know. I think I'd rather the metal needles. I really do like working with them, though. Yeah. I think that yeah. I I think because they're the sock needles and they're so fine, fine. that um, I think that that just the way you hold them and things like that, it starts to create a stress area. It probably does. And, and yeah. yeah. So but for me, I like I'm a looser knitter, so maybe yeah. maybe I don't yeah. know. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, mine are odd. I mine were getting flat. We're wearing it flat where the needles rub together when oh, you're when you're knitting. Yeah, yeah. Mine was actually changing the shape of the tip. I have a um, my uh, what is, what is they're not what a hard the enough wood. That I, I think have. that's what the problem is. Now so, if they were oak, it would probably work a little better. Yeah, yeah. But so I mean, my, you're gonna have my uh, my needles. What whatever these are. Uh, they're Knitter's Pride. Knitter's Pride needles. Because I use my um, four millimeter needles a, a lot, lot yeah. I've noticed that the one... Is starting to wear? The the tip yeah. is, is like rounding. rounding. Yeah. And so that's kind of like driving me a bit crazy. Well, this one, wait till you see this one. This one is basically, see, like one, it starts to curve a little bit. Yes. It's got a bit of a curve, and this one you can see it's it's flat. If you feel it, you can feel that it's flat. Oh, I can see it too. <laughs> you can see it. I know. Yeah. Just from just from making the socks and the way that they rub when yeah. you're when you're yeah. knitting. So. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I know. I'd like to get them replaced, but I'm like, do I want, want them replaced? Because if the same thing is going to happen, I know then because that's ten dollars, right? Yeah. And they lasted me a year. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I just don't know. 
So, anyways. Anyway. As we get on to another topic, anyways, <laughs> we do need to go, go and get and, on with our day. Yes, because as you can see, we <laughs> are in our pajamas, pajamas still. Yes. And it is after midday. Mid yes, it's definitely midday because I don't even know what time it is. It is quarter, quarter after, after one. one. <laughs> so we should get dressed. Yes, yes. So. But it's a, it's a oh, rainy, miserable day out here, yeah. so we're in no rush. Yeah. But but anyway, I'm so happy we were able to uh, catch up with everybody yes. and share everything that we got done. And yeah, it's it's really good. And we're so looking forward to kind of the change in seasons. This, yes. As I said, this... Yes. It's slowly warming up. Yeah. Not as fast as we'd we, like it, we but... We like it, but... It is warming up. It is up. getting a little warmer and we're yep. looking forward to warmer weather. Mm -hmm. And the Knitter's Frolic is usually kind of the end of the really cold spring time yes. and leading more into a nice warm spring and then to yes. summer. So we're really looking forward to that. Yep. So thank you so much for sticking with us through this slightly longer um, podcast. Slightly longer and, and two months ago, two months delay in between. Yes. <laughs> but it was so, episode 60. Yes. Yep. So thanks so much for joining us and we will see you again in two weeks. Yep. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.